Well, welcome to Revit's tutorial for Martinet Design. In this tutorial, we are going to do a little bit of dimension and adjust a couple of things on this project. Before then, we want to create the floor for the upper for the upper floor. I want to create the slab for it. So you go to your architecture selects floor floor architecture so you take it to sketch mode and you begin to draw that which is necessary for you to put in place for your drawing to be signed so as you've done this then you trim You trim, you trim or trim around. So as you've done that, just click on finish. So you have your floor in place, your slab. But one thing is there is that you have already covered up your the steel roof. So what you need to do, click on edit and change the boundary by just create out that space. Escape. Tango. So you create the space out. So that the space of uh, of staircase. So from there you've already done what is needed. So now, as you have done here, don't need it here now. You go back to your ground floor level, as the kitchen and everything have been stored in the place. Put here. Take this part and call it country S. I'm a country S. Call it stuff. So for the kitchen. So you did that for for now. So what we want to do now is to do the temporary dimension. Click on modify and click on what and click on align dimension or come to annotate and click on align dimension. So what you do here, you can decide to do the one two. So you like that for the grid lines. It's generally accepted. Nothing changes. But if you don't want that, you can click on the reference and say choose the entire work. This one is more faster. So you choose wall width or you say intersection with wall width what with grid line. So this like that. You can do like this and say okay, I'm using it. Everything that I do does it with interaction with the numbers. This one I don't want to do. So click option, click on opening, give the green line for now, with center so that it will be more faster and quicker. So like here, you change it to work like this. This one because of if you if you are doing it one one one, it's going to take a lot of time. So this one will give you a quick access to your dimension and it will blow your mind up for what you are doing. So as you've done that one, select it all and drag, select and drag, and so on and so forth. So some are there that are going to use in the figure for, but this is just a quick method of which you can do your design in a quick level. Quick level. So like this place now you can see the wall center intersect with the wall. So click on this and say the intersect with the wall. You want to do it in, in, inside a interior dimension, this is more useful. Are you getting this? So whatever you do here, let's go quick and fast. So like this place now, drag it up. It's going to give you dimension of each tree. So you work like that and take it up. To yourself, so like this, this one I've been double double flex. So change one, click one, and delete one. So you are just there to see the position of what you are doing. So individually, you can decide to convert them back again and clicking on it and see the entire one. Sorry. Click on this 
and click on variable to click on the options so it's still returning back to the opening and so it's running back so now what you do here is that you want to change the the size of this but the letter are too much most of them are overlapping one another so you click on edit type edit type will have too many options for you to use here so come to edit text under the text and change the size reduce the size what you want to do is that these size are not permanent because when you want to put them on your sheet so you still need to adjust them but for now you just do by doing two meter two millimeter apply they reduce yes it reduce a bit but not total so edit it again go to so your is 1.7 1. and say okay you see so it reduces so that enough to work on what you have done as a temporary dimension for everything so here if you want to coordinate it just make sure that you put and click on these options i say in in the figure references so anywhere you put your your mouse or your cursor is what is going to be selecting for you so this one will be a precise selection and you use this one to take a further dimension of outside out to out things like that so that's how you flow that's how you work and you click on the same thing click here you click on this and click on that in the video references allow you to pick some details together by yourself so that's how you do and put all the dimension in space so your duplex is set so the same thing here you can click on this one and say select say select all instances in this view are you getting it so now you say copy and you go to level two and you look at it and you say okay put e a and say select or say or align to current view and you see every references that is allowed that has already been picked it will definitely put them there those ones that are not there are having some issue so you're going to use individual references to put them so you can copy a dimension from one view to another when we just have a similar uh, similar design so things like that just say okay and if you are reference and say says yes so from here now you do what you want to do press escape and say no option entire wall because that's what we want to do with or with you getting it so quick it will allow you and afford you that aspect of it so click on here again in video references and bring like we have done in the past and then put it there good So that is how you do your dimension and get it temporarily. So now, if you are not satisfied or you want to choose some graphics for your flow, so you can decide to do it by arranging the graphics by picking it and say graphics edit or cast the shadow first and see how the shadow reflects. If you are satisfied like this, you do it, but this is not the best way to work on. So you click on this and say display graphics. And this reality then what you do is to go to lighting section and you change it here to something like 165 that is the for the azimuth and you change this for the azimuth 165 apply it so that you see what is change you just see so then again you change this one to something like a 15 and you say click and say apply can you see if it's not okay by you change it again to something like 10 
so you're applying it you're seeing the difference is it okay by you if it's not okay you put it like it so okay apply so what you've done here is that everything you're doing is related to level one i mean what's it called and level one but if you change the level space you are going to see some little bit of change as well so from here now changing this one to one to something so okay apply so it's more and smaller so arrange this one as say level two can you see so it's in your level and things like that so that's how you should detail your plan if you present something like this to your plan it's going to be satisfied and be happy so in terms of graphics so you do this one again i say lighting and the lighting and settings so you use the same thing and say okay because i've been set already so you just click and see your cash shadow and click on here and see the cash shadow from here and say okay can you see so the shadow is being casted and that is fine so that is how you do your design plan this only we design we have done the four plan we have not done elevation in the uh, next chapter we are going to complete the elevation of this program so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel